Welcome guys, it is Andrew here from IDB with Noctis 9. Now, Noctis is kind of a dark mode for iOS, but it's not a full dark mode like some of the other ones out there. It just brings a dark mode to various transparent elements inside of iOS, such as these folders that are normally quite bright and light. You can also see the effects in the dock, in the volume or other HUDs that pop up that are kind of transparent. Again, those folder overlays that we looked at previously, and even on 3D touch menus. If you have a 3D touch device, any of those 3D touch menus will now have a nice dark overlay to them. Now, there are a bunch of settings that you can configure here, so it's not just kind of a simple dark mode that a lot of people like, but there's a lot of things that you can kind of enable and change. Of course, you can decide how dark you want it. You can lower it down a little bit or bring it all the way back up. You can enable the dock. So some people don't like the dock, but you can remove that. Same thing with the folder effect. You can remove that as well. You can even choose a tint color if you so choose. So you can actually change the tint of that dark mode. And then another neat feature is you can actually schedule this for certain times of the day. So if you don't want it on all the time, maybe you just want that dark mode in the evening. You can do that though. I'm sure plenty of people are just gonna want this on all the time instead of just in the evening. So you do have that option if that's something that you'd like to do. But that's about it. Very simple tweak it is available for around $2 inside of the big boss repo of Sedia. Let us know down in the comments below what you think. Do you like this kind of simplifying dark mode or do you want a full blown system dark mode that we've seen in the past and are still waiting for from Apple? If you like this video and want to see more cool tweaks, make sure you give this video a thumbs up to like it and then go ahead and click on that big red subscribe button. Otherwise, until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.